Hi friends, here is your friend that we can't Excel Guru with a new MIS interview. Sorry, actually this query asked from one of WhatsApp group regarding how to find the decimal numbers in the values. Okay, how to find decimal values in a, in this range? Okay, it's very easy. Okay, guys. So first of all, you have to count how many are there. Okay, first of all, you have to count how many are there. Before I start this session, I request everyone to like, share, and subscribe my channel so that you can learn more, more, more Excel tricks with the new amazing hidden features. And uh, already I started MIS interview questions series. You should go and search in my playlist you will find the MIS interview question ok here it is see here it is if you type any value with the decimal numbers 11.25 ok if you find normal number ok guys so I will show you how to do this one ok mm -hmm. so you have to find the search. Actually, search is expecting only single value. Okay, search will expect only single value like this. Okay, so it will show you the position where it is occurred, the decimal point, the text which has which we have given. But I will give you. I will select the whole range. Okay, guys, I will select the whole range. So it will become an array part. Okay. It will be expecting single value and if we are giving more than value, so it will convert into an array function and for evaluate the function you have to press F9 function key. See, wherever decimal are it will show you like this. Okay. Okay guys. So Z and we have to count how many decimals are there in this. Okay, so first of all we have to rid of this error. Before we count, we have to rid of this error, value error. Okay. So convert this is numbers. We need only numbers, not the error. So is numbers. So it will show you wherever number points in that frame, it will show you two. Other than that, it will show you this fault. Okay, so you have, so you have to convert this into a number. So because you have to count. See, don't use sum here. It is an array function, so it will under, it won't understand. For that reason, some product will handle array functions. So here it is an array part. Now it will count how many decimal points are there in a range. Control enter. See four. Totally four are there. Let's see if it is right or wrong. One, two, three, four. Right. It's a four. Okay. So we have to have a extract the decimal only the decimal points. Yeah, only we have to extract only the decimal points. So copy this one. Not e from each number to this one ok wait a minute 1 2 1 ok still uh, red you have to select still red you have to select ok only two. control c is equal to index open the bracket index is the array function where you want comma small open the bracket if open the bracket, if is number, comma, row, f4, minus row, this one, I have to lock it, f4, plus 1, ok, comma, row. I am using the increment of the numbers. Okay, I will dollar two 
L dollar T L two. Control shift and enter. It's an array function. Okay. It will expect only the decimal. It won't expect other than that. Okay. Wait a second. I have not logged. Okay. I have not logged something. Here I have not logged. So you have to log this one also. F four. Control shift and enter. Double click. Okay. For uh, rid of error, you have to use if error. If error, if you find any error, then give me the blank. Okay, control shift. Uh, sorry, because in if scenario, so you have to take a single cell, not the whole range. Okay, if you find any error, give me the show me the blank. Control shift and enter. Okay. Double click. Okay. Now you have to find the. You have to use conditional format to find the decimal point. Okay. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to take. You have to find such period, comma in this value. Okay. So it will show you the position, the way decimal point are there. Okay. F two, so you have to convert this into E number. So conditional format will understand only the num non-zero numbers as non-zero numbers as true, zero as false, true and false. Control enter. So here decimal point is not just false. Here decimal point is not just false. Here decimal point is just true. So highlight this cell. First of all, copy this formula from here in edit mode. Control. Okay, you have to copy this whole. Control C, Escape. Control C, Down arrow, Alt H L N. Shortcut key for conditional format. Use the formula to determine which cells to format. Click on that. Control V. Format with a red color. We don't need any borders. So leave it off. Okay. It will be like this. Check whether it is working or not. Okay, it's working. Okay now. Let's see whether it is working or not perfectly. Yes, it is working. So it is not a dynamic. If you find any decimal, it won't understand. Okay. It won't take. Okay. So for that reason, you have to convert this into a table to make a dynamic. And make sure that it should be a bold. The heading should be a bold. Then only the table will understand that it is a, it is a header. Okay. Control C shortcut key, and uh, my table has header. Okay. Sorry, actually it has taken this one also. I will move little bit. Make sure that it should around there should be no values or no data around this. If it is find anything, it will take that one also. So, control T, enter. Formula which uh, data value is removed and it converts. Yes. Actually, I have taken. Okay, I will show you one thing. Values F two. Okay. F two. Values one because I already taken as a value. Okay. So for the reason I converted this as a values one. Control T, enter. Control Shift L to get off this filter. Okay, come bottom of this range. Tap. Okay, already taking numbers. Okay, now zero. So hundred. Hundred point two. Two zero five. One thirty-two point one. If you find decimal, it will show you the red color. Okay. If it is normal number, it won't show you anything. Okay, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your support. Have a nice day, and please support my channel for more Excel hidden features with Excel tricks. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your support. Have a nice day.